Red dwarfs are small, and they burn their fuel very slowly, like a candle that refuses to go out. While our sun will last about 10 billion years, many red dwarfs can shine for trillions of years, longer than the universe itself has existed so far. Though invisible to the naked eye, these stars are far and wide. About 75% of all stars are red dwarfs. They may be dim, but they could host countless planets and perhaps countless chances for life. Our own sun is a yellow dwarf, a medium-sized star, steady and reliable. Not too big, not too small, just right. It shines with warmth and stability, creating conditions where life can emerge and thrive. Stars like our sun live for around 10 billion years, offering long stretches of cosmic home. But even the sun's light is temporary. When its fuel is gone, it will swell into a red giant, burn brighter for a short time, and then shrink into something much smaller. Still, in the vast darkness of space, stars, like our sun, are the keepers of life. Cosmic Titans swell to immense sizes, hundreds of times larger than our Sun. The red supergiant, Betelgeuse, in Orion's shoulder. If it replaced our Sun, it would consume Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These stars live fast burn hot and die young, sometimes in just a few million years, but their deaths are unforgettable. They explode as supernovae, brilliant bursts that can outshine entire galaxies. In those final moments, they scatter heavy elements like iron, gold, and uranium into space. Without these titans, planets like Earth and people like us could never exist. Not every star dies in fire. Smaller stars like our sun end their lives more quietly. After swelling into a red giant, they shed their outer layers into beautiful planetary nebulae. What remains is the star's hot core, a white dwarf. White dwarfs are tiny, about the size of Earth, but incredibly dense. A teaspoon of white dwarf matter could weigh several tons. Over billions of years, they fade away, cooling into darkness. When massive stars die, they leave behind something even stranger. After a supernova, if the star isn't quite massive enough to form a black hole, it collapses into a neutron star. These objects pack the mass of the sun into a sphere only 20 kilometers across. A teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh about a billion tons. Some neutron stars spin rapidly, firing beams of radiation like cosmic lighthouses. 
we call them pulsars. Neutron stars are where physics bends, where matter itself is squeezed to its absolute limit. Some stars go further still, If a collapsing star has enough mass, gravity wins completely. It becomes a black hole, an object so dense that not even light can escape. Around it, space and time themselves are warped. Anything crossing the event horizon is lost forever. Black holes are the ultimate mystery of stellar death born from light, yet ending in darkness. The cosmos also teases us with rare, exotic kinds of stars. Brown dwarfs, sometimes called failed stars, too small to ignite hydrogen, but still glowing faintly with heat. Wolf Riot stars, stripped of their outer layers, roaring with intense stellar winds. Even the hypothetical quark stars, which may exist even denser than neutron stars, remain unconfirmed. Stars are the architects of the cosmos, born in clouds of dust and gas. They live, they shine, and they die. And in their death, they give birth to new stars, new planets, and new beginnings. Our sun is just one story among trillions. So the next time you look at the night sky, know this, we are not just gazing at distant suns. We must always remember where we came from, because in the end, we are all children of the stars.